Today we are going to be watching the worst team in Scotland. I do always feel a little bit harsh making these videos of these kind of titles. I hope this title means this video has a wider reach and brings attention to this club to you guys who maybe haven't heard of them before. Uh, but there is one or two stats that you can point to that definitely prove they probably are the worst team in Scotland, especially this season. I saw Vale of Leithen play two seasons ago in the Lowland League at home against Bonnie Rig Rose. They lost 13-0 in the highest scoring game I've ever Ever seen on this channel and they hadn't won a home game at that point when I saw them for three years. Just look at the table from that season. Bonnie Rig Rose with that 13-0 win went on to win the title but look down the bottom there Vale of Leithen. They finished a few points even below Gretna who are struggling still in the Lowland League and Edinburgh University way be way behind them with just five points, one win, two draws and 31 losses, just 10 goals scored, conceded 166 goals, five points, and they got relegated to the East of Scotland League Premier Division. They finished bottom again, so that's two seasons in a row they finished bottom. So last season they finished on minus six points. The season before this, they won one game and had five points at the end of the season. They won two games that season, but finished on minus six points for fielding ineligible players, I do believe. So, yeah, look, Linlifco Rose, they won the league that season. They're now in the Lowland League this season. But the two full seasons prior to this one, Vale of Leven have finished, Vale of Leven, rather, have finished on minus six and five points, meaning that they've accumulated a grand total, if you add the two up, of just minus one point in the last two seasons. Using my extensive research skills the night before the game, I've had a look around every single league in Scotland. And as we can see, look, the Premiership, bottom team there, Livingston, have 17 points. The Championship, are Broth, 23 points. League One, Edinburgh City, five points. League Two, Clyde, 27 points. Obviously, Edinburgh City, five points. They're a lot less than the other teams who are bottom of their respective SPFL leagues. They've had their off-field issues so far this season. What about the Lowland League? The league that they were in two seasons ago that we saw them get battered by Bonnie Rig Rose in 13-0. Edinburgh City, six points. Gretna, they're still down there after all these years. Eight points. They seem to just scrape by every season, Gretna. And then what if we look at the Highland League table? I saw Strathsby Thistle earlier this season and called them the pointless football club because at that point they were the only club in the top five tiers or six leagues because the Lowland League and the Highland League they're the fifth tier but they're equivalent so it's six leagues technically they were the only team without a point at that point in the season I think that was around October November time they now have seven points but they do have a minus 80 goal difference I've also looked down all of the East of Scotland leagues as well and as we can see the East of Scotland League Premier Division which Vale of Leatham were in last season is currently bottom is Canool and they've got five points and then we look at Vale of Leithen's table zero points there's even a team in this league who have had points deducted yet Vale of Leithen are well below them um if we go the league below Vale of Leithen obviously Vale of Leithen they do have a lot of teams below them um but so could you call them the worst team I don't know but in terms of what I'm saying you could say so because even the bottom teams in the team in the leagues below them have seven points and two points respectively there Livingston United propping up the entire east of Scotland league there being bottom of the third division with just two points and two draws I've even looked into the North Caledonian league I know that Fort William famously were the worst football team in the world for a few years there and they sort of used it as a bit of a marketing ploy I think for their club and it did bring them um, a lot of eyeballs and a lot of exposure um, but even then they finally been relegated from the Highland League after all the terrible years of poor performances and I, I made a video there I think they had minus 600 goal difference over the course of five years uh, during some points of their recent history and even them they're in the sixth tier technically now the North Caledonian League and even they're third with 41 points but bottom of that league Thurso very remote 10 points I've looked at all the West of Scotland leagues as well, and from what I can work out, I've looked at all the tables. The team with the lowest, lowest amount of points in the West of Scotland league is Campbelltown Pupils with just 11 points. And what about the other league that I've sort of not looked at, the South of Scotland league again, I think sixth tier technically, but probably a lot worse quality than some of the tiers that are technically below them, but because of the regionality of it, very confusing conversation for another day. I'm hugely digressing. Wigtown and Bladnock, bottom of that league, five points and a minus 50 goal difference. So if we look at across all the leagues of all the senior leagues within Scotland, I'm pretty sure that Vale of Leithen are the only ones with zero points still. And we're in 
late March now, it's spring a couple of days ago. They've been relegated, like I say, two years in a row. They've got minus one points. If you add up the last two seasons, the minus six and the five, minus hundreds of goal difference. What's going wrong at the club? Let's go and find out. Welcome to Inner Leven, home of Vale of Leven. And this small town, sort of in the middle of nowhere, was formed, founded 700 AD by Saint Ronan. I would like some local healing water, but sadly none today. It is mad how you think of how these towns were formed. 700 AD, some geezer comes through on a boat on the River Tweed from Ireland on his way through to France, I think. And uh, here we are, over a thousand years later, coming to see a football team play in this town, which sadly for him are, by my reckoning, Scotland's worst team this season, especially, like I said in my intro, I feel a bit bad saying that. There are teams below them in divisions below them, but if you're a fan of Vale of Leathen, then you've had a worse season than every other club in Scotland. You have yet to see a club get a point. I do love where this channel takes me. I've been to some random places down the years and uh, I would never really ever come out this way, deep into the Scottish borders for any other reason except from this YouTube channel. So I do appreciate where it takes me. And if you haven't already hit that like button or subscribe to this channel, then please, please do because what other YouTuber with nearly 200,000 subs would take you to Inner Leafing. Not once, but twice. It's open until 12, the post office. Oh, is that up this way as well, yeah? It's opposite the co-op. Oh, right, okay, cool. If you carry on past the cafe, yep. uh, and just carry 100 yards, it's called the allotment. Right, okay. You just go in there. And there'll be a cash machine uh, over there. Okay, no, no, nice. you go up to the counter. Ah, right, okay. Mainly Scottish football, but other, other countries as well. So. I'm not on YouTube, but what, what I, I do go on it now. I'll show you my I'll channel. Go on mine. I'll go on, I'll go on the waist. Uh, I love your wee camera, is that? It's a GoPro. It's a GoPro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad, it does the job. Booty Adventure. That's the one, been to Hibs many times, mate, so. <laughs> Good luck to you for the rest of the season with Hibs as well. And lovely to meet you. Nice. 35 years married on Monday. Wow, congratulations. An OB. What's, what's 35 years? What? Coral. Coral, okay, Coral. nice. She needs actually an OBE out before Easter. <laughs> <laughs> nice, well thank nice you so much, you. guys, all the best. Wow, some friendly people down in this neck of the woods. We need to find a place called the allotment which is somewhere where apparently i can take some cash out there's only one place here potentially the co-op but definitely the allotment in a leathen saint ronan's and even the badge of the football team has saint ronan on and look at what else it says on there keep faith something that the uh, fans are gonna have to do i hear i can get cash out in here if that's possible <laughs> Uh, just 20 pounds, please. What am I doing? Going to the football stadium today. I don't think they'll take cards, so best get some cash out. No. Have you ever been to see them play? No? Yes? No? I'm Bobby Craigie, I'm a general manager at the Leighton Football Club. So the last two years, I came to see you play against Bonnie Rig Rose two years ago. You lost 13-0, got five points, got relegated. You got minus six points last season yeah. and you're not doing so well this season as well. What's gone wrong over the last couple the, the of years? The bottom line is we, we just can't get players in to come down and play down here. We've, uh, we've tried to bring in 120 players this year. We just can't get them down. You could say that the money side in some ways, but it's not all money side. It's just that people, now that the pyramid system's opened up, there are more teams up in the Edinburgh area. And our, our main thing was taking guys from Edinburgh down. Right, yeah. And it's a beautiful setting, as we were just saying off camera there. So, to anybody who wants a club, surely come and well, have a go down there, here. There are loads of people love coming down for a trip, like, yeah, you know, because yeah. it's quite a, for where we are. But that's all yeah, you've got yeah. to do. And who are you playing today? Is it? 
Armisen Rangers. And how are they getting on? They are one, uh, two places above us in the league. So if you're going to get a couple of points on the board, maybe it can be today. Hopefully. Hopefully. Is that when you played Green at Morton? Morton? Is that in the Scottish Cup? Scottish Cup. What was the score that day? Do you remember? Seven or eight, one or something. Like that was away at Morton. At Morton, yeah. Any players on there that I recognise? Any Morton players? Uh, Chris Miller is that Midgey Miller, uh, Chris, isn't it? Uh, well, uh, I like Williams. Who was, uh, oh, Peter Witherston, who is quite a good player. Eh? You got that shield off of Rangers when you played them in the uh, Lowland, Lowland League, League a couple of seasons ago. Down at Dumbarton. And the same with Celtic just there. The uh, is it? that's a, that's the Celtic one when they played. Yeah, and so you tell me when. You played Rangers here. Lowry was man of the match. Alex he Lowry. He was man of the match. Leon King would have played. Leon King was probably playing that day. I'm almost certain it was like. You know. uh, but he, yeah, he played that season for the B team anyway, and then yeah. the next season he played in the Champions League against Salah. Yeah. So he started against Vale of Leven, yeah. and then went up to the Champions League. Callum, you're club captain yep. here, right? How long have you been playing? I've been with the Vale for about two and a half years now. Right, okay, yeah. so I, you weren't here when I saw the Bonnie Rig game? No, not Bonnie just after that, so just after that. And I, I forgot to mention this in video already, but I saw you play away then last yeah. season at Broxburn, yeah, Broxburn, and they're doing really well this yeah. season, but you lost 8 0 yeah, that eight day. Nil, yeah. So, how are things playing for the club? Because it's well, been a rocky couple of years, uh, I guess. Well, now things have actually picked up a lot, so we're doing. I think we're from when the gaffer come in, picked a lot up. And then, yeah. Got a good squad, got a nucleus anyway, so we're doing a lot better. Than and so you think that even though you, it's probably likely, I don't like to say it, that you'll probably go down oh, this season. No. Next season, with the nucleus of the squad, like you say, you probably will be better placed in that yeah. division. No, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay. The squad we've got, I will definitely. I will get a good. Basket. And how many people have you been getting at the games then? Yeah, we've got quite a good crowd now and then. Okay. Like a home game, just press. I think it's just they know the boys are going through a tough time, so rallying round. Okay. And so, do you have a message for the local people then? Yeah. And just come support us, we get all the help we can get. I like to think these videos do help put these clubs on the map, and if it helps, like with Solcoats Victoria earlier this season, they barely had any players. Based on a couple of videos I did there, they got loads of players going for trials and actually ended up signing for the club and stuff. So if you're a local and you don't know what you want to do on a Saturday afternoon and these guys are playing at home, come down and watch them play because the setting is really nice and you might actually see them win a game, which would mean you're seeing something in football that hasn't happened for, you know, three years. I think they won one one of their wins last season. I think I was just chatting to someone off camera there was a home win. So you're going to see something really rare in football if you come down and see the winners, particularly next season. If they get a few points on the board, then that's something that this club haven't done for such a long time. And if you're maybe a player in the area or even in Edinburgh, you're looking for a club. It's not too far from Edinburgh. We are literally out in the sticks, really. But I mean, you know, if you're a player and you think you can do something at this level, particularly when they go down next season, um, then come and give them a shot and help out. I'm Ricky and this is Lewis. And so you like to do a bit of ground hopping as well, don't you? Do you know much about Vale of Leven, where we are today? No, an awful lot about them, but apart from they're not doing very well, uh, sitting at the bottom of the, the table. They've had a rough couple of years. Had a rough couple of yeah. years, like you say. So hopefully we'll have a good game today and they might get a wee couple of points. But they're playing a team today who are only a couple of places above them. That's so right, if they yeah. are going to get a couple of points, it could That's be today, good. and we could see their first point of the season. That would be good. Hey, David. I'm going rogue, I'm going to go half ketchup, half brown. What do you think about that? <laughs> nice one, thank you mate, we'll do, cheers. And it is absolutely mad to consider that. Leon King would have probably played here for Rangers B and within a year he was playing in the Champions League at Anfield. Oh! Vale of Leven are losing. I've seen them play three times before. A 13-0 loss, an 8-0 loss. A few minutes in here, they're 1-0 down again.
You're with the away team? Yeah. And they're doing okay this season? Uh, no, the, the fourth uh, like near the bottom. But you should win today. But it's 2-0 currently. Yeah, two What's the final nil. score going to be then? 4-0. Uh, 4-0. What's the final score going to be? What do you reckon? 3-0. 3-0. Mate, enjoy. Enjoy, my man. Enjoy your pie as well. Uh, apparently they're hot. <laughs> they're cold. Aye. They're cold. But well. Are the pies good at your stadium? Mm -hmm. Aye. It's 3 0. Yes. Is this your YouTube? That's it, mate. Yep. What do you reckon? Subscribing. Yes. Thank you, boys. When you visited all the stadiums, mm. uh, what, what did you think of Celtic Park? What do I think of it? Yeah. It's a good stadium, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, You're a Celtic fan? Yeah. And you... Rangers. Rangers. Hibs. Hibs, you were? Celtic. You are Celtic and you were Hibs as well, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, How do you think Hibs are doing this season? What, we are new video. They're playing downhill as well. They should be one of them. Oh. That's crap. That's A million subscribers. I think Vale have got a penalty. I've never seen them score before. We're almost at the end of this game. I think the current aggregate score of games I've been to are 26-0 against Vale of Leithen. Can they make it 26-1 it? Eh? Oh, yes, we've seen them score. Crowd go wild. and score twice. Buzzing with that. Six two in the end. Yeah, six what two. Yeah, a wee bit of disappointment there. We lost our way a wee bit during the game, and uh, that was it. But uh, we just, just got to carry on and keep on going. There's nothing else we can. Yeah. How many more games do you have this season? I, I think maybe eight more games. We have is a couple it? tied at Gene Fields next yeah, okay. week. And is it just a case then of just keeping on this season and starting yeah. again for next just season, basically? Just keeping on it and looking for players for next season. So anyone watching, get down yeah. there. Nice yeah, one. Day. Amazing. Cheers, mate. Right, Thanks cheers. for today. It's just started pissing down at the end of the game. And uh, yeah, what a great trip out here. It's a lovely part of the world. Some really nice people, not just at the football club, but in the town as well. Scotland's obviously renowned for having many friendly people. And I can say that is true for this part of the world. Just a shame that the football team are doing so poorly. Five points two seasons ago, minus six points last season. Nil poir still this season as well. It ain't looking good for them. So I really do hope that by next season, they can really kick on and uh, actually pick up some points. Maybe one day we'll see them get a point. We saw them score twice today, um, which is more than what I can say for the other two times. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope it's put this club on the map for you. If you wanna see a video that I mentioned earlier in this video, the pointless football club, Strasby Thistle, not pointless anymore. I think got like seven points, did I say earlier? I'm not sure what their result was today. Please click on that to carry on watching. Thank you so much and goodbye.